Good morning, guys. It's Carol. How are ya? Let's do some see what I saw photos. Actually, I don't know what I'm showing you here. It's either a weed or a wildflower. But in the Texas Panhandle, this grows in huge patches anywhere that's not mowed, like out in fields and pastures. It looks like mustard has been spilled. It, it, it's just massive. I just love them. I also love my bedding plants. My petunias are doing really well. The wind's blowing them here, so you can't really see the, the blooms as good as I'd like for you to, but they are gorgeous. I need color, and I love to go out and look at my plants. This one is a lantana. Now, this poor thing used to be an aloe vera, a healthy aloe vera. Until I put those white rocks around it, I got them at Dollar Tree. Within days, my aloe vera was dead. I don't know if I overwatered it or those rocks poisoned it or what happened to the thing. Ah, cherries. I love cherries. I usually buy one bag a summer because they're expensive where I live. Before Memorial Day, they were $6.97 a pound. After Memorial Day, they had all the bags marked $2.50. Yay! I think I got three cups. Okay. This is why I am never bored. I didn't take this picture. My sister did. She lives in Tucumcari, and she was going for a walk and saw this and sent it to me. I knew exactly what that was up in the sky. It's an ultralight paraglider. Uh, where I live, there's a huge field across from me, and about three or four paragliders meet out there during the summer on the weekends. And I'd already looked it up. Paraglider like this, well, the human has this huge fan on their back. It sounds like a lawnmower. I guess it's gas powered, it must be. But anyway, that fan creates wind to inflate their parachute and they zip all around the place. Um, <laughs> not me, I don't do that. I just like to learn about them. Then that wind turbine that you can see. That belongs to Mesa Lands Community College in Tecumcari. They have a school called the North American Wind Turbine Training Center, something like that. They call this the world's tallest classroom. I think it's 32 stories tall, um, but I'm not sure on that. But anyway, they use that for electricity for the college, but also as for training their students. They can climb the steps inside that 32 story tall thing and work on the motor and things those blades are 120 feet long we see them on trucks coming through all the time i mean that is long people <laughs> um now that's in tucumcari new mexico and i don't know exactly how tall it is but i do know that the tallest wind turbine in the united states is just down the road from me this information is from Roadside America that I'm going to read to you. It said 100 truckloads of parts were needed just to assemble the crane to raise this wind turbine. <laughs> the wind turbine itself is 653.5 feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's as if you took the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, the tallest monument in the United States, and stood it in the middle of the Texas prairie. Except that wind turbine's even taller. Um, it's part of West Texas A&M University, just down the road from me. Um, they have an advanced wind turbine test facility. You can go see it, obviously. You can see it for miles. But to take a picture, you have to be a half a mile away. <laughs> I just find those things amazing. Okay, that's it for today, guys. I hope you're having a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Leave me a comment and tell me what you're doing this weekend or what you've seen. And I'll be back at the next video. See ya. Bye-bye.